What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there? It is me, your girl Tiffany, y'all, and I'm back at it. I'm back at it with some more content for you to watch. Yes, I'm here. I'm going to deliver. I am that girl for the job. So, if you have not, y'all, read by the title of this video, this one right here is going to be right to the point. This one right here is just seven habits that I picked up, that your girl picked up, that I'm trying to share with y'all just so y'all can have a little bit of happiness in your old age. Now, I did this video, the last video, but it was more something that I researched it online. So, it was someone else's words mixed with my experience, you know, that, that, that. But this right here, this video right here is coming from my life experience. It's a reason why I'm doing this video. A person, actually someone I work with, she stepped out of line. The girl did not do her job. So this video is really dedicated to her, but in the midst of me doing it dedicated to her, I said maybe this will help more people. Maybe it will just help more than her. So go ahead and stick to the video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to get right to it. All right? All right, y'all. Right, so the first thing that I'm going to put on this list, and this is for everybody out there, but especially you privileged people, this is especially for you. All right. So the first thing, if you want to at least make it to my age, let me sprinkle some game on you, baby. Let me sprinkle some game on y'all. Mind your business. Mind the business that pay you. If the business ain't paying you, stop minding it. Y'all do too much, give out too much energy up in other people's business. Stay in your lane, know your position, and mind your business. Especially if you broke. If you broke, you have no business in somebody else's business. Mind your business, get your money, and that's it. That's the number one thing on this list. Mind your fucking business. All right? All right. All right, y'all. So the second thing that's on my list the second thing that I put on this list for the people out there that just need a little help. And this is just seven things you can do. My addition, all right? Some, some stuff that I've been through that could guarantee a little bit of happiness when you get older, when you at least reach my age, all right? So the second thing, y'all, and this is the number, this is something y'all really need to understand is just sometimes y'all need to listen instead of speaking sometimes y'all need or people or me I'm not I'm not you know I need to mind my business too so yeah it is what it is but sometimes y'all everything doesn't need you to speak sometimes just listen some of y'all talk too much some of y'all a lot of y'all most of us we talk too much. We talk and we don't listen. And that's not what it, that's not what it's about. 80% of a conversation is listening. 20% is talking. Start listening more. Listen more and maybe you can reach to the age where you're happy cuz you're not in other people's business and you're listening instead of talking. That's the second thing. All right. I know I'm all stiff and stuff. I got this hot ass sweater on. I know it's all over big, but whatever. All right, y'all. So we are at the third thing that's on your girl's list. The third thing that I decided to put on this list, just a little bit of life experience that I went through. It got me to this age. I'm happy, happy enough to make this video. So I said, let me sprinkle it on to y'all. All right. So the third thing that's on this list, if you want to be happy, when you get a little bit older. Or even now. You can start now. But that is, you guys, is keep your business, your family, and beef off social media. Keep it off social media. Keep your relationship off social media. Because that I'm single, I'm engaged, I'm married, I'm single. That is confusing. Keep your family off social media. 
keep your children business off social media. I can't say that no more. It is what it is. I just see so much family drama and sometimes I know it pays the bill and that money looks good. I know, money looks good. It looks good. But all money ain't good money. So if it ain't bringing you a check, you really should get off social media. Keep all that stuff off social media. I know sex, negative, drama, all that stuff sells. But y'all is hurting them babies. Y'all hurting yourself. Y'all hurting your family. Stop doing it. It doesn't look good. That's the third thing. All right? You want to be happy in the near future? Keep your drama. Keep your family. Keep your business off social media. All right. Almost down to the fourth. I'm almost done. I'm almost done, y'all. Work with me. I mean, it's how that sweater works with me. But this is my daughter's sweater, and I just thought this sweater was so nice. Look, let me see if I can show y'all. Yeah, and I love hoodies. So if y'all see me in any of my, mostly all my videos, I have some kind of hoodie or sweater or something like that. But yeah, I love fashion. So that's the reason I have on this hot ass sweater doing this video. But let's get to the number four thing. All right. All right, y'all, so we are on the fourth thing that's on your girl's list. Now, I don't want you guys to take this out of context. I don't want you guys to take it the wrong way. I'm just telling you from what I went through, my experience, okay? All right, here we go. So the number fourth thing that's on your girl's list is just know fast money don't last long. Fast money don't last long, baby. Illegal money don't last long humble yourself whenever you do get a dollar or two dollars or a thousand dollars or a million dollars humble yourself because the fastest you got it the fast God will take it away just like that I'd have been on top I'd have been at the bottom I'd have been in the middle fast money don't last long and stay humble. Stay humble. Alright? Because some of us remember when you didn't have nothing. Stay humble. Because the faster it was given, the faster it could be taken away. Alright, that's the number four thing. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Oh, yeah, let me let y'all know. Podcast coming soon. I got my amplifier, um, I need to give me some headphones and a microphone and all that stuff, but yes, it's coming, it's coming together, so stay tuned for that, alright, we almost at the 15, y'all, stick with me, alright y'all, so I need to get comfortable, your girl's not comfortable, I don't know, but we're gonna get through this video, so the number 15 that's on your girl's list, now, once again, I don't want y'all to take this out of content. I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way. I'm just a little seasoned in the game. I've been there, done that. I'm just trying to help y'all. All right? So, the next thing on this list, damn, air freshener. I always want to interrupt me when I don't need it now. But the, number, the next thing is on this list, uh, I believe we're on number fifth. The fifth thing that's on this list is you are what you eat. Literally. All right? If you want to be happy as you get older or even now, watch what goes in your body. There, I said it. You are what you eat. If you eat a burger, you a fucking burger. Alright? You're a cow. You eat a burger, you're a cow. You eat pork chops, bitch, you're a pig. You are what you eat. I mean, it is what it is. Watch what you eat. Literally from sugar to wheat to dairy, watch the intake of all that stuff. Start limiting some of that stuff. And watch how your body transform. Stop to having so much sugar. Watch how much energy you obtain. You are what you eat. It is what it is. I usually don't eat out, but the other day, went to Wendy's, had a burger. I knew my mind I wasn't supposed to eat this burger, but I ate the burger. 
hey, I ate the burger. I'm grown, doing grown woman shit. I'm eating burgers. But then 30 minutes, I felt it. I felt, I started feeling like a heifer, like a small cow. And I said, wow, it must have been the burger. So <laughs> that's the thing. Watch what you eat. You are what you eat. So watch what you put in your body. Watch what you put in your body. All right, that's it. All right, we're almost done. All right, y'all. So we are on the sixth thing that's on my list of just seven habits, seven experiences I may experience. And I'm just trying to sprinkle. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Because I just did a video like this. But like I said, I've seen something online. I kind of figured it went with my life. And I recorded the video. Tag them in the video or put their name so it won't seem like I'm copying off their words or whatever. But this right here, this is my edition. This is what got me to my old age, my season age, all right? So the sixth thing, y'all, that's on this list, and don't be young and um, get to an age where it's like, damn, I, I remember this video back 20 years ago. Don't be that. Don't be her. Don't be him, all right? Be more better than that because I'm, I'm giving it to you, all right? So the sixth thing that's on my list is just be your own boss. Be your own hero. Be your own influencer. Be your own motivator. You don't need nobody else telling you what you need to do. Like I said on a couple of videos ago, I'm not trying to motivate nobody. I got problems. I need to be motivated sometimes. I got to motivate myself. I'm not trying to influence nobody because I'm not a good influencer. I might have you doing some stuff you don't want to. But I'm going to feed your soul. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeding your soul. So the number six thing, y'all, is just be your own boss. Be your own hero. All right? Stop looking to the internet to find somebody to look up to. If you have kids like I do, don't ever tell them someone else is their role model. Don't never let them either mimic somebody, dress like somebody that's not reputable to dress like. Um, just don't do it. All right, let them be their own boss. Tell them, if anything, somebody should want to be like you. So let's just be our own boss, our own hero, love ourselves. So that's the number six thing. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm almost done. Stick with me, then your girl got to get ready for work. Yes, now I got to go serve some tables, but it is what it is. So stick with me. All right, y'all. So we're at the end of this video. Yes. I'm almost done. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Your girl really appreciate that. And like I said in the beginning, if you haven't already, go ahead, tap in with me. Do all that good stuff that I need you to do for YouTube to show my videos. So just go ahead and like me. Go ahead and comment under me. Go ahead and subscribe to me. I mean, it would be it would do me a huge favor. All right. So the number seven thing that's on my list, and this is the end of the video, y'all. So the seventh thing, y'all. And I really was going back and forth of what I should put on my list. Um, should I put this? Should I put that? Of course, it might be a continue to this video. But the seventh thing that I know that I need to put on this list, and I know this would, um, this this would got me to where I'm at. Um, you know, I done had some ups and downs. I done been angry. I done been bad. I done went through it. I done went through all the emotions, guilt, all that good stuff. But um, one thing that I want to say, and I might say this on all my videos, is be you. Be you. It looks better. It looks better. Stop looking at other people's life. Stop looking at social media. Stop looking at your cousin life, your uncle life, your auntie life, the life your mama and daddy had. And worry about you. Live your life to the best of your ability. Every day is a new day. Don't live for tomorrow because it ain't here. And stop living in yesterday because it's gone. All right? So that's the number seven thing on this video. Y'all, it's just just be you. It looks better. It's nicer. That authentic you, baby, the world's going to love it. So I'm going to end this video because your girl got to get ready for work. It's 4, 4.15, and I have to be at work at 4.30. But good thing I'm two minutes away from my house, so... I'll throw my uniform and I'll be up out of here. So let me go serve these tables. Let me go make people laugh, smile, be happy, and look at me like, girl, thank you. And until then, y'all be careful.
Be careful out there. It's about to be the fourth on Monday. So y'all be real careful out there. Why don't y'all comment and tell me what y'all doing this holiday weekend. I would love to read some comments. Give me something to do. Alright? And until next time, like I say, and it was the number seven thing on this list, be you. It looks bad. Alright?